Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So back again today with some more electronics and we're going to expand on our double pole, double throw, center off video um, from two weeks ago I think it was. So if you haven't watched that video I'd highly recommend you go back and watch uh, that video. I'll link it at the end of this video so you can just scroll to the end and click onto it there. It'll be easy for you to find it. So we're going to add LEDs to our uh, circuit here. So let's talk about the LED first. <clears throat> so an LED is a light emitting diode um, and a couple of things about the LED. The LED um, requires polarity so what that means is the positive leg of the LED or the anode as it's known as must be connected to the positive end of the battery and the negative leg of the LED or the cathode must be connected to the negative end. So if we look here you can clearly see one leg is longer than the other so our longer leg is our positive leg or our anode and our shorter leg is our negative leg or our cathode. So if the legs happen to be snipped the same size, another way to tell is if you look at the LED here, if you look at the right hand side near my thumb here, that's flat. So it's not completely round and the flat side is how you know the negative. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add LEDs to our circuit. So this is the positive and this is the negative. So the way I always remember an LED is the current or the LED needs to be placed with the arrow of the LED going in the direction of the current flow. And this part in the symbol almost acts like a, a stopper. So current cannot flow this direction through the LED. So if we remember our current flow uh, in this position, so one direction is going to come up like this through here through the LED so this is going to be our green LED in our circuit and it's going to go all the way through the motor this direction and back to negative so nothing is going near this red LED however if we switch our pole so if we put the motor in the opposite direction hence that's what our double pole double throw center off switch is for now our current is going to go this direction, it's going to go this way through the motor, so this way for the red LED, and now it's going to come around here and it is going to go through the red LED in one direction. So it'll make more sense now when I show you the circuit, but just wanted to explain some little bits about the LED and explain how the circuit actually worked. Okay, so let's talk about this circuit now. So we've got our double pole, double throw switch. So we've looked at that already. We've got our power going to the middle. And instead of connecting directly to the motor, what I done is I placed the motor and two LEDs in parallel. So the LED, the green LED, has the positive leg connected to the positive of the switch and the negative leg connected to the negative. But what I've done here, if you remember how the double pole, double throw switch works, uh, when it goes one direction, it directs the current in one way, and when it goes the opposite direction, you direct it the other way. So what I've done is I flipped the polarity of the red LED. So now the positive of the red LED is connected to uh, the black here, and vice versa. So let's look at how this circuit works. When you put the motor in one direction, um, it turns and puts the red LED on. When you flip it in the other direction you put the green LED on okay so I'm just going to show you a close-up of that here so let's look at the close-up here so here's our red and black coming from uh, the double pole double throw switch remember we've got our power over here with the battery we've got the green LED uh, in forward bias when the current is going this direction 
and we've got the red LED in reverse bias when the current is going the opposite direction. So when the motor is going one direction, the green LED will light, and when the motor is going the other direction, the red LED will light. And if you can see the back of the board here, then it's simply just kind of a the very simple copper strip board uh, setup. If you see here as well, I used ribbon cable, uh, and what I have here along with that is some heat shrink. So this heat shrink is great, especially for LEDs. So you just come along and then now get your teacher to do this. Um, and that heat sink then protects the contact. Uh, oh, burnt it a little bit there. Uh, this, one, this one turned out better. I took my time. So that just protects it and stops the two of these from connecting uh, against each other because that would short the circuit um, and would stop it. So very simple. Let's just see it working again So if you can see the green LED and the motor turning one direction And when you reverse it the motor goes the opposite direction and goes the other way Yeah, so that's nice and what I would recommend um, if you have it is when you were using your LEDs to use these LED holders they're really tidy in the projects and they just slot up there like that I think that's around an eight millimeter hole that you drill for that and you just slot it in so it's a really nice way to get your LEDs uh, into your project and just everything looking sharp okay thanks for watching everybody and see you all in the next video